Hi, I'm Miss Garland, head teacher here at Brimsham. We are delighted that students are returning to school next week. It's really important that they return safely for the sake of our community. So students are coming in for their first lateral flow test. They will have that taken and then they will go home. Once we know that it's negative, they are then able to return to school the following day. Now, we've got so many students, we can't do all of that on one day. So we've got a staggered process, starting with 12 and 13 on Monday, and they'll be back in lessons from Tuesday. And then the following day, we will have year 11 and year 7 coming in for their tests. And then they will return to school properly on the Wednesday. That kind of staggered system works really well for us, and I'm sure that other secondary schools are doing something very, very similar. So I can understand that for some parents and some students, if you've never taken one of these lateral flow tests before, inevitably you will be wondering what it's like. You might even be feeling a little bit anxious. In our experience, there is absolutely no need. The students that we've had in school throughout partial closure have taken to it like ducks to water, I might say. Um, it's a quick process. We've got staff that students know that are administering the tests, are teaching assistants, for example. So students will come in to a friendly face, they explain the process, it's all done in three to four minutes, and the students, in our experience, have, um, have not been anxious, have not been concerned, they understand the importance of it. So you locate the tonsils at the back of your throat and you swab once either side, and then you take the swab and then you um, put it up your nose for like 10 seconds. And then once you've done that, you then hand the swab over to the teacher or the person who's in PPE helping you. And then um, they put it into a little test tube and then snap the end off and then you can close it up. And then within like around 30 minutes, you usually get your results. The more we take the test, the more then we know, especially within our bubbles, then we can locate who's seen who and then we can narrow it down to who's had COVID or not. And it helps people out knowing so then Obviously, we can help the whole community. At first, I was a bit nervous, but when I got there, the teacher was really helpful and there was pictures on how to do it. So um, I knew what to do and it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, it's not as bad as it sounds. I mean, uh, the test is pretty straightforward. They tell you what to do and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I think it's all right to do a test. It's not as bad as it seems. Yeah, when we have to take them at home, I feel like I can adapt to it, yeah. I feel like it would be a lot easier now that I've done it before. In terms of return to school, the testing process is one of the really important mitigating factors that we can, we can rely on to ensure that the whole community can return safely. So along with wearing masks, sanitising hands, keeping that social distance, all of those things we've been doing are really important that we continue with. But the lateral flow testing really gives us confidence that we know that students returning and staff aren't asymptomatic. Uh, that it's not that they have COVID but have no symptoms. We can be really confident then that we can return and we can stay returned. It's that sustained time in school that's so important.